So I'll go through these exactly here right now. So um, going through this problem here, I have 3v squared minus 7v minus 10 times v minus 4 raised to the negative first power. Now obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we've been working with uh, using long division. So you look at this problem and say, all right, well, I kind of know how to use long division, but how, why is it giving me written like this? Well, first of all, you guys need to remember that if I have a to the negative exponent, that is the same thing as 1 over a to the positive exponent. So in hindsight, really all I'm doing is if I multiply something to a negative exponent, that really means you're going to be dividing it to the positive exponent. Well, v minus 4 to the positive exponent is just going to be v minus 4. So I can rewrite this again using my long division algorithm. So I have v minus 4. Right, it's multiplication, but remember v minus 4 to the negative first power is equal to 1 over v minus 4, right? So if you were to multiply with v minus 4 in your denominator, you're actually dividing it. Does that make sense? Mul Do you understand how this is equal to that? Yes. So let's rewrite it then. Times 1 over v minus 4. Do you now see how I'm actually, when I multiply, you're going to multiply over, and then you're actually dividing by v minus 4. Right? OK. So what I like to do now is I'll just keep it written like that so I can do my division algorithm. So v divides into 3v minus 3v squared. So all you're really doing is 3v squared divided by v. Well, that's going to be 3v. You can check your answer. 3v times v is 3v squared. 3v times negative 4 is going to be a negative 12v. Then we put in parentheses and subtract the whole second row. 3v squared minus 3v squared is 0v squared. Negative 7v minus a negative 12v. That's becoming double negative, so therefore you'll be left with a positive. 5v. Now we have 5v being divided by v. So v divides into 5v a positive 5 times. 5 times v is 5v. 5 times negative 4 is going to be a negative 20. Bring down the negative 10. Put in parentheses, subtract the whole row. 5v minus 5v is 0v. Negative 10 minus a negative 20 is going to be now a positive 10. V does not divide into 10, so therefore that's going to be our remainder, which is positive 10 divided by our divisor. So that is how you're going to write in your final answer. Okay.